good day. Welcome back. So in this video of the T34, I pretty much do all the assembly. Um, There's not much to it. It really goes together quickly. Uh, it fits together for the most part pretty well. There's not a whole lot of fiddly. But, you know, hey, let's, yeah, let's look at it. I'll walk through it. We'll talk at the end. All right, so in this build, right, there's not a whole lot of really <laughs> intense details, but this, this one little bit's kind of cool. <laughs> they do give you this plastic sheet, this plastic mesh, to simulate or to replicate the um, the mesh over top of the engine deck. Um, it's really not that hard to do. Just, I mean, you can see just all I did is just mark it out, and you get plenty. Right now, this this piece sandwiches between two pieces of plastic, um, and what I ended up doing right is I just cut it out, marked it down using the pen. I cut it a little bit big, but you know, hey, life goes on. So when I did that, I go back over, trim it down, um, and it goes in. It's, it's really not that difficult to to line up, and I mean, you can see it. I just kind of. <clears throat> I go back a couple of times till I get it to the right size because I want it to fit. You want it to fit just right, or at least I did. Um, once I got it cut to the right size, it was a matter of pulling out the uh, um, CA glue. And then I also use Kicker, um, which is going to be, which for me, with regard to this, I found more important than anything. You know, that little white cup has Kicker in it. Um, so... Yeah, it was just a matter of take a little bit of CA, dab it where you needed to. And, I mean, goodness, folks, a lot of you guys have worked with stuff like this. Um, but just little drops of CA through where they need to be. Drop the mesh on, then just take one of these Q-tips and <clears throat> or cotton buds with kicker on it, and that will lock them right in place. Once that's on, you know, that means it's pretty much squared away. Then it's just clean up the receiving part and it, that needed to um, there's some really weird ejection pin and some molding artifacts for this thing but then go back through put a couple of clips and I found the alligator clips here to be better because it held that in place and I was probably putting more effort into it than I needed to then just run the glue on after that I did go ahead and update the um grab handles that are on there because I just wanted to make it look a little bit nicer so you, you get all these plastic ones and they're fine but I don't like trimming the sprue gates off of those things so it actually was easier for me to do this right and so that white piece of sprue was cut to the right width and then all I really had to do was fasten uh, or not fasten but form the metal bar stock around where it needed to be and then just use my low speed Dremel rotary tool, I guess, to drill in the holes and drop the thing in place. And I do apologize, I go off camera a couple of times here. Um, so that can be a little bit frustrating, so I do apologize. But there's really not much to this, right? Um, this whole kit is really, really straightforward. It's like very few parts. This adds detail. Is that detail necessary? I liked it because I, I, I can bend it. it. It gives them a little more, less uniform look right so that that works there <clears throat> then I go back and I do this for this cover I also do this for the exhaust piece cover um, and using just this micro liquid tape which will put it in place so that it'll lock in while I go ahead and, and do the base painting and get it ready um, it's a better it gets the thing in place and then I can go back and paint underneath it and you know it's just really that's all there was to it to this thing here we are at essentially the last of the assembly steps so um just a heads up you'll probably hear some background noise we have family in uh but I did want to kind of video this because I'm at a point where it's time for me to move on to the next steps and I kind of wanted to catch this so um Wheels aren't on. I haven't done the tracks yet. And I have like a couple of the pieces not put on. So I don't have the tow cable on. I don't have this box on. I don't have this thing on. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I'm also going to pop. Well, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the whole thing with the base color. And I'm going to pop those off. So what I'm going to do 
is there's when it comes to painting these there's a there's a level of work that I kind of try to do so um I'm going to hit it all with the Russian green then I'm going to pop these off so that I can dirty up and rust up the exhaust because those get hot and rusty then I'm going to put these back on and then you know do that weathering we'll get the um we'll get the wheels put together and then you know also hit this with greed then once I've done those that little bit of detail then I can drop this box in there um I'm not really sure what that box is I need to it's it's this piece right here so I need to look it up um but it's there there's also the cover for these there are some clear parts that go here and then there's a cover for those that I kind of want to do those separately as well this thing um I mentioned it in one of the photo vignettes, you know, doing the, 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 the level of detail, like there's this, so there's this little part right here, right? Um, and it's, where is it? It's, it's this, right? It's this part right here. And then you have this, this canvas roll that literally has a seam halfway through it. So you have to. I'm like that level of detail for that little tiny part. And then you've got that. Um, I've done some work on that. I'm still going to sand up a little bit more of that. And I got most of the seam to go away. But so anyway, um, my next step then is essentially to hit this with its base color. I did go and I did all the, I did put the bars in with metal just because it was a thing for me. Um, also, this is only on, I can pop this off. I'm going to pop this off too as well. So I can paint the underneath there and get some detail work in there. Then I can put this back on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. And this is, like I said, this is where the painting and the assembly are going to kind of start to mush. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm still up in the air about the tracks. But as of today, um, I'm thinking I might just go ahead and go with the kit tracks just because. Um, you know, I'm not super detailing this thing. Uh, I'm doing this thing more kind of out of the box and I'm just going to paint it up and see what I get out of it. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we end up with. So we'll go ahead and we'll get, get cranked in on that. All right. So the last thing I needed to do was get the tracks put together. And what I decided to do is I wanted to go ahead and build them off, off the tank. And I'd seen this method before where you put the tracks on the tank, um, yeah, and then just pull the whole and glue the whole thing like an assembly together uh, so that's essentially what I'm going to do here is just you know you can see I'm struggling a little bit to get that loop around but get that put in put you know put the either wheel and the drive shaft or the drive wheel on and then just go put all the other wheels on fiddle it until they get into place and then go put the tracks on it now you can see they kind of fit even if you followed the instructions or you put the tracks together using the template they sort of fit but sort of don't um and this lincoln length track was kind of nice they they went together fairly well but i did have to fiddle with them a bit um i'm okay with that i mean the the fiddling tracks are meant to be fiddly or i guess you know, I don't know, meant to be fiddly, they just are. Um, but I go through, put dabs of glue on the whole thing, then, you know, I'll, I'll go in, I'll put like little um, cotton bud to hold the, tr the top part of the track down onto the wheels. But it did make painting the wheels easier. It made putting all this together easier. And then just go in and you pull off the whole assembly and you you can work on the tracks and painting the tracks separately all right so now this is the only thing i really fought with hard was these the front 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 yeah the front piece of this it just was a fight um because they'll go together you go ahead you put them together and then trying to get everything to fit in and stay snug and not break when you put it back on. It's just a little bit of a challenge. But it can be done. But then you can see you get these assemblies like this to work with. And once you get the assemblies, then 
you can go ahead and just it makes it easier to do the weathering and, and get things started so I do go ahead and start the weathering using the Citadel um, Agrexer shade and really all I'm looking to do is knock back the silver color right the Agrexer shade and it goes you know it, it it's a nice shade this is what it's built to do um, so it just knocks it back and starts the color which is really what I needed before I got into the heavier weathering. Alright, so there you go. Um, as you can see, now I did forget to put, I did video the putting together of the turret. It really, it kind of went, I almost done. Um, there are a few little tiny parts. There's, but for the most part, the whole thing just sort of goes together. The directions are a little confusing in a couple of places, but for the most part, it's really not that difficult. Um, overall though, you know, the, the challenge isn't in the assembly. Um, you know, I feel like the challenge is going to be in, in the painting. Um, again, I'm not a T34, uh, expert, so I'm not sure what's missing, what's not. Um, I did leave, I did end up deciding to toss the bedroll piece. Um, it's just me. Uh, so I'll go back and I'll find other ways to sort of dress it up and, and other ways to put some detail on it. But for the most part, the assembly's done. Um, right there at the end, I started with the first layer of the weathering of the tracks, which, you know, that that's just layer one. There's a whole bunch that's going to, a whole bunch more is going to go on. But that essentially is it for the assembly. So in the next video, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get into the um, doing of the weathering and, and hopefully that'll snap it up a little bit. So with that said, please feel free. If you have any suggestions and queries, go ahead and put them down below. Just keep it respectful. And again, I thank you very much for watching. And until next time, happy modeling. <laughs>